So, uh, the other day, uh, Mane asked an uh, interesting question. Okay, so she's left-handed. He's right-handed. So, when when he controls this hand, okay, have control. Uh, so, one of the reasons she does a lot of morote seonagi and so they, is that this hand is controlled and it's not free. Okay, hold on tight. <laughs> so, it's not free. So, she finds it difficult to do ipon seonagi, right? So, the bigger question is, what do you do when uke controls this hand, right? And sometimes, for certain techniques, especially like Ipon Seonagi, you need to be free. You need to be free in order to do it. So, uh, what do you do? There are a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is, not, not necessarily to free it, but because she's left-handed, right? To control, to take control of the situation. Right now, his hand is on top. That means he controls my hand, you know. He, he's controlling me, and there's nothing much I can do. So I need to take control. So what do I do? From the outside, uh, you, you can't really do it from the inside. You go from the outside, and now if I go on top like this, even if I don't break it, I'm now in control. Now I control his hand. So now I can do osoto, I can do tayatoshi. But I'm, so you want to gain the upper hand. Okay, he's got, like this, he's got control. So I just come over, and I got control. Then he'll try to get control. He now now he's got control. Now he's got control. So I need to come back up. I need to get control. So we'll be fighting for control. That's the first one. Okay, fighting for the upper hand. You want to be on top because when you're on top, you're pressing it down. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is you can break the grip. Okay, so there are several ways to break the grip. Right, one is, uh, I told you is to go like this and then break it. The other okay, the other way is from this control situation right you want to break him like this right and once you break once you've broken the grip then you can come in with ipan seonagi so the first way is just controlling the upper hand the second way is breaking the grip the third way is to take advantage of his strong grip okay so how do i make sure that this grip is really strong is by actually trying to break it a few times if I do this, he will hold even stronger. And that's what I want. I want it to be really strong. Okay? So, what I can do for, from here, you can do a seonagi, right? So, watch. Okay? Do you see? His hands are trapped. So, when I pull here, his hand goes with my hand, with my arm. Why? Because he's holding tight. If he lets go, he, he won't go. He, he, his hands won't follow. But if I'm pulling, one, two, three, his hands follow. And then usually you do this as a drop. You drop down. Okay? So, three things you can do. First thing is, you don't break the grip. You just take control. So from here, you can do your technique. Second thing, you can break the grip. Third thing, you don't break the grip, you make him grip tight, and then you bring this hand in. Okay, or you can even, if it's really tight, it's really tight and he, he's definitely going to follow, you can even sode. It's like a sode or a makikomi kind of thing. Okay, so you, if you come over, you can lift like sode, or if he's holding tight, makikomi. Now, let's say, natural question is, what if he doesn't hold on tight, right? But if I pull and he breaks, then you can do your seonage. You can do your soto makikomi. You can do what you want. So, in a way, he's damned if, he's if he does, he's damned if he doesn't. If he lets go, you can attack. If he doesn't let go, you can also attack, right? The only thing that's stopping you from attacking when he holds on is psychological. A lot of players feel that if he's holding here, I cannot do my technique. But look, he's holding tight, right? He might be able to stop me from lifting up, right? But it's hard for him to stop me from going this way. Either bringing across here, or bringing across here. It's not so easy for him to stop it. This way is not so easy. This way is easier. Okay, so resist. He can't. He can't stop it. Right? Resist. I can't lift. I can't lift this up. But I can bring it here. So this way is always possible, okay? 
So what I want you to do to try with your partner now is okay. Let's see. I control this arm. I control your sleeve. Okay. The first thing is first thing is okay. I'm taking control. Control. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna fight for control. Now I have control. He's control. So I want to be on top. Okay. So it's a fight for control. That's the first one. Second one. Break the grip. Break it. Okay. Third one. Make me hold stronger. Then throw. I die. See, very strong. 